Good evening. Hello, good evening, everybody. Hi. Hello, Guadalupe. How's you? How's everything? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo les va, chicos? <laughs> what was that, Ruth? Ruth, turn on your camera, Ruth. No, si se le han movido a saber que casi voy a asustar a los compañeros. Enciende la cámara, Ruth, quiero ver eso. Ay, si quiere usted ver por la sede, me quiere. <laughs> Lo siento, Ruth. Logré ver lo que tenía. Were, were you playing with that, Ruth? Oh, my God. That was funny. All right. So, good evening, everybody. All right. So, uh, welcome to a second video conference from this week. All right. It's a pleasure to have you here. It's a really good pleasure to have you here, everybody, again. All right. Uh, so we have a very different topic, you know, like to, to, to share, to discuss tonight. So I hope everybody, you know, like to, to, to try to participate as much as you can. Because, since, you know, I mean, the more you participate, the better you will be, okay? So I'm just gonna start with uh, the class just by passing by the attendance list so just give me one second i am going to, i am going to let me see to do this thing to open up this thing give me one second oh yeah let me see here the attendance list okay so i'm gonna start with the attendance list is 802 so I hope your classmates are going to get connected, you know, like throughout the, the class time. So let's just start over. Uh, Gabriel Esaú. Gabriel, okay, Gabriel is not here. Mm. Guadalupe Noemi. Present. Okay, good. It is Cecilia. Okay, she's not here. Jorge Ismael. Jorge. Okay, he's not there. Jose Moises. Jose Moises. Okay. I don't know if it is there, but uh, I don't listen to you. Okay, I, I guess it's not there. Uh, Judith Maribel? Not even Judith is connected. Okay, probably she's not connected yet. Uh, Carla Ivania? Present teacher. Ah, okay, good. Uh, Carla Lorena? I'm here, teacher. Ah, okay, good. Catherine Guadalupe. Present. Ah, okay. Kevin Ramiro. Mm. Present, teacher. Ah, okay, Kevin. All right, good. Maria Elena. Maria Elena, are you there? Mm. 
Let me see who has sent messages to the group. Okay, we got two people in there that are not going to be participating. Okay, good. So, Marilyn Ah, uh, no, todavía no, Cristina. Ah, okay, okay, gracias. Okay. Gracias. All right. Let's see, Marilyn Alejandra. Present, present. Okay. Eh, teacher, ahorita solo voy a escuchar la clase ya dentro de unos momentos. Yo me voy a conectar completamente. Ah, okay. Okay, Mario Ernesto. Present. Okay, there you go. Mónica mm, Maricela. Okay, she's not here. Good, let's move. Oscar Armando. Mm, all right, Oscar apparently is working or doing something. Ah, uh, Patricia Guadalupe. Uh, okay, Patricia, I saw your message. Hmm. Roberto Emilio. Ah, yeah, Roberto is working too. Ah, uh, Ruth Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Santos Cristina. No, okay, cada vez que hables va a reír de mí. Barbero. Y es, y es, es que, es que no, no se dejó ver esas cejas, hombre. That was really funny. No, resaltaba mucho. Okay, okay, good, good. Ah, uh, let me see. Uh, Santos Cristina, I am in Cristina's on the way home yet. Um, Good evening, teacher. All right. Solo voy a ir de oyente para mientras ya dentro de una media hora más o menos me voy a ir con voy a voy a estar ya ahí con la cámara encendida hoy. Okay, okay, no problem, Cristina. Thank you. Ah, Jocelyn Stephanie. Present, teacher. Okay, very good. Good people. So we're going to start. Uh, you know, like with the class now. Um, and let's start with a short feedback, you know, like talking a, a little bit about the topic that we were discussing yesterday. Since yesterday was the first class, you know, like we were talking about uh, a very interesting topic. That, by the way, do you remember the topic that was in discussion yesterday night? What were we discussing last class? Do you remember people? What can you tell me about the last class? So let me see how much you remember. What was the topic from last class? How much, how many? Ah, okay, we were talking about how much and how many. What else? When do we use how much, for example? For contable. For contable nouns. Mario? For, that's, no. that's, that's what you said for countable nouns? Uncountable. Uncountable. Ah, uncountable. okay, good. And I, I, but I don't remember, uh, for example, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, who was in the classes? I mean, not everyone, not everybody was in the classes survey. Let me see. Ivania, are you there, Ivania? How many is countable now? And how much? Is, no, al revés. How many is countable? And how much is countable? Ah, okay, good. But, uh, 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 okay, that's pretty much what Mario said. Now, I want to know, Ivania, when I talk about countable nouns, what are they? What are countable nouns? Uh, computer. 
Uh, uh -huh. um, what else? Tables, uh -huh. uh, different clothes, blouse. Ah, okay, very good. So in that case, basically, a countable noun is what? Is everything you can count, right? Everything that is countable. For example, if you got computers, you got cell phones, you got students and everything, right? So that's, it's basically countable noun. What about with uncountable nouns, Proof? Um, how many? Uh, when not, like, Ruth. Ruth, Ruth, Ruth. Hello? What is an uncountable noun? Uh, how many? Are you sure, Ruth? Listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something. Check this out. We were basically saying, or you basically were saying that, listen, we were discussing two categories, countable nouns, okay? And basically you were saying that countable nouns are nouns that we can count. For example, computers, cell phones, Students, if you see, all of them are in plural because we can count them. We can count, for example, uh, what? Cities, jobs, okay, cars, okay. And on the other hand, Ruth, we were discussing also the Uncountable nouns. What are uncountable nouns, Ruth? Money. Huh? Money. Ah, okay. You're giving me an example. Like the word money. What else? Uh, time. Time. Huh? Time. Time. Mm. Oh, um, water. Water, okay, good. Alguien más que me le pueda ayudar a Ruth? What else is an uncountable noun? Sand. Okay, sand. Sugar. Okay, we got sugar. Sugar. We got salt, all right? Um, uh, and we got a lot of them, a lot of words. But this is just a couple of examples. The definition is, remember, an uncountable noun or uncountable nouns are nouns that we cannot... Give me one second, I'm gonna put this thing in here. Count, okay? So nombres que no podemos contar, okay? Good. This one is related to the definition and the examples. Now, remember, with countable nouns, we used to use a structure to create questions. The structure was how many, okay? The structure was how many plus countable nouns. For example, how many computers do you have? So in an answer, you will say, I have two computers, for example. You see, algo que siempre quiero que tengan en mente es que cuando usamos la estructura del how many, right? Si desde que básicamente estamos usando how many, estamos diciendo de cuántos o cuántas. Por lo tanto, el nombre que van a colocar justo después de how many, that's one. Siempre, sí o sí, tiene que ser plural. It has to be plural. Okay? 
always remember that. It has to be plural. Good. What about on the other hand with uncountable nouns? You can say that an uncountable noun, remember, is a word that you cannot count and you cannot make it plural. Un nombre incontable, recuerden, nunca se pluraliza. Never, right? So in that case, we use how much. Okay, so you can say, how much sugar do you need in your coffee, for example? How much sugar do you need in your coffee? ¿Cuánto azúcar necesitas en tu café? So in that case, I can say, I need a lot of sugar in my coffee. I need some sugar in my coffee. You see? So in that case, we can put it like this, in different ways, right? Recuerden que esto, tanto some como a lot of, se les conoce como quantifiers, okay? Son aquellos que nos indican una cantidad, o cuando los usamos indicamos una cantidad, ya sea grande o pequeña. Okay, good. So in that case, this is the way. Y si, re, y si ven acá, después de how much, acá tenemos la palabra en singular y recuerden que es una palabra incontable. Okay, eh, that is something uncountable. All right, good. So let's remember, this is just a brief feedback, okay, from the last class. Recuerden que esta es como una pequeña retroalimentación, okay, from what we were discussing last class. Perfect. Uh, are you taking notes about this? Or uh, can I stop sharing? ¿Puedo dejar de compartir o están tomando notas? Ok, ya some of you are taking notes. Okay, give me one second. Someone is texting in the group. Hmm, okay. Anyways, I'm going to stop sharing this and uh, let's start with the topic that we are going to be discussing tonight. So just give me one second. I am just going to open up the presentation that we are going to be discussing tonight. Okay, while this thing, it's working on, give me one second. I am just going to project this one. It is loading. Ok, good. Bueno, mientras abre la, la, el chat, eh, recuerden para mañana es eh, asueto, mañana no vamos a tener clase. Eh, no sé si ya leyeron el comunicado en el, en el chat del grupo, así que, so tomorrow we have a day off, ok? Just in order to, to remind you. Ok, now. 
let's just start with this. Okay, cool. So this is uh, the topic that we're going to be discussing tonight, okay? So have four obligations. That is the topic that we are going to be discussing the rest of the class. In este caso vamos a ver que have no solamente significa tener de poseer algo, and that's it, okay? Vamos a ver el verbo have de una manera un tanto diferente, all right? Vamos a ver desde un punto de vista, okay, de una estructura que se llama semimodal verb, right? O un verbo semimodal. In which have chose obligation. Okay. What is like, you know, like the most relevant that you got for the rest of the class? All right. So we got the feedback from the previous class. It's something that we just finished right now. We're gonna start with, uh, you know, like expressing and, and giving a short explanation about the uses of have for obligations. You're going to provide a couple of examples on that then. And at the end, we are going to finish working in the manual. That's pretty much what we got. Okay, let's just start over. We got have to and has to. ¿Por qué ponemos dos? Recuerden que has to es la forma, ok, que usamos para mencionar las terceras personas o cuando hablamos en singular, all right? Have to and has to. Good. Cuando ya le agregamos la preposición to a este verbo, ¿qué creen ustedes que significa? ¿O cómo lo interpretamos? Have to, has to. How do you understand it? Any participation with? Como tener que hacer. Okay, literally in that case is tener que. Okay, that is the main, the main translation that we got or interpretation from that term, tener que, good. All right, so <clears throat> let me see. Uh, I don't even know where, what to choose, man. I got very, a lot of people with the cameras off. Okay, uh, Carla, are you, can you participate, Carla? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, <clears throat> cool. Can you please read the definition? Uh, have to, has to. We use how to, has to, to show obligation about any activities in uh, our jobs or houses. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you. <clears throat> So in that case, it says that we use have to and has to to show obligations about and any, listen up, any activities, no matter where you are, it can be in your jobs or it can be even in your houses, okay? So that's, that's uh, okay, a pure obligation when you express something using this structure, okay? Take a look at this. This is the structure that I bring for you in first person and singular. When you use the first person and singular. Check this out. As always, we're gonna start with a subject. Right after the subject, we got the structure that in this case is have to, okay? Plus main verb. Remember right after have to, we need a main verb. Recuerden que have to nada más es parte de la estructura para denotar obligación, pero después del have to necesitamos un verbo principal, ¿ok? Que va a ir justo después de ese, de ese have to. And then a complement. Remember that a complement is mostly used to make the sentence more specific. Examples. Okay, let me see. 
Uh, 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 Jorge, can you please read this example for me? Okay, teacher. I have to go eight hours a day. Okay, thank you. So in that okay, case, we are so using case, an obligation, right? What it says, listen, I have to work eight hours a day. So ahí estamos expresando que una obligación, right? Ah, tengo que trabajar ocho horas al día. Good. So in that case, we're showing uh, some kind of obligation, right? Good. What about the next one, uh, Kevin? Could you please help me out reading that one, Kevin? Mm. O es mi imaginación, no todos están trabajando, pero solo veo a cuatro con la cámara activa y los demás. Están o no están? And I'm asking that people just because, I mean, me siento así como Richard, Richard, I'm talking to the wall. All right, Cristina, yeah, I mean, I know. Estoy, I know you're on the way home. Sí, ah, okay, cool. Okay. No problem. Be careful, by the way. Okay, good. Okay. So in that case, let's, let's try to move on. Ah, Jocelyn, you're there. Okay, you have to complete the report today. Okay, thank you. So in this case, listen, in general terms, when do we use have to? Usamos have to cuando básicamente nosotros estamos expresando una obligación en que la persona sí o sí debe o tiene que hacer una actividad determinada. Okay, that's basically uh, the situations in which we use this structure. All right, that no matter what, yes or yes, you got to complete that activity. Okay, take a look at these other examples that we got in here. Could you please help me out reading that, Ceci? Uh, hello. Uh, hello, uh, could you please help me out reading the last example? Um, you have to complete the report today. The next one, Ceci, the next one. I uh, We have to store the materials. Ah, okay, there you go. So you have to store the materials. So in that case, what are we doing? We are showing an obligation for some kind of things, okay? Remember, in that case, that's what we are showing, obligation. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you, Zezi. Uh, now, let me see any other one. Ivania, help me read the last one, please. They have to do the homework. Ah, okay. Good. Like in your case, right? That's an obligation for everybody to do the homework. So I can say, ah, people, all of you have to do the homework. You have to turn on your cameras. You have to participate when the teacher asks. So in that case, there are some kind of like extra examples, right? That I can bring to you. <laughs> just, just, just to open up, you know, like, like options for you guys. Okay. Okay, teacher. Good people. All right. Nice. Uh, so in that case, uh, Jose. Do I have any Jose here? Ah, uh, mister. Um, I have to attend English class. Ah, okay, thank you. Yeah, I mean, that's a very common example. Thank you, thank you. Okay, good. Could you guys give me one example using these things as Jose did? Permítame un segundo, voy a poner esto así. ¿Me podrían regalar un ejemplo? Tal y como lo hizo Jose. And I'm gonna start with Mario. Mario, give me one example. I have to take the medicines 
Oh, the caps today. Ah, okay, very good. You have to okay, take the medicine. Good. You have to take the medicine. Good, good. Jorge? Good. Jorge? Okay, maybe I have to go to the bank and start it. Mmm. Se le escucha como muy bajito, Jorge. Se le escucha como muy bajito, Jorge. Okay, perfect. Uh, maybe I have to go to the bank on Saturday. Uh, I have to go to... Uh, to go Lo demás no lo escuché. Lo demás no lo escuché. Uh, the bank on Saturday. Ah, okay. All right. Ah, good, okay. Good. All right. Thank you for him. Uh, Guadalupe. Thank you for him. Uh, but... Give me one example, Guadalupe. About yeah. an obligation. <laughs> I have to do cleaning the house tomorrow. Uh, or you can say, I have to clean the house. Simpler, <laughs> right? Good. Nice. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Ruth? I have to put the filter on the Zoom camera. I have to... Teacher, se puede decir lo, nuevamente how. Usar el verbo how. En la misma oración. Continue. Depending on what I, you want to say. I have to have a coffee. No, yeah, you can say that. Mm -hmm. okay. Ah, tengo que tener un café. Yes, man, I did it. <laughs> Talking about that, I have a new cafeteria for about two weeks and I haven't put it. I'm going to do it after class. Uh, okay, good. Uh, let me see, Maria Elena. Would you please give me one example about an obligation that you got to do? It can be about your work. It can be about in your house, in there, something. And in my work. Okay. Uh huh. I have. I have a. Uh, I have a call. ¿Qué tiene que hacer en su trabajo? What do you have to do? I have called to the, the I have, phone. I have to call. Call to the phone. No. Yes. <laughs> I call. Pero, ¿Pero a quién le llama? Eh... Pacientes in English? Patients. Patients. I have to call to patients. I work in with a doctor. Ah, you work with a doctor? With a doctor? Yes. Ah, okay. So you can say, I had to, you, you can put it in two situations. Mm -hmm. I have to make calls or I have to call, uh, I mean, patients. Puede decirlo de, 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 de esas dos maneras. I have okay. to call patients or I have to make calls. All right. Okay. And also I have to message messages. Send the, messages. Yes, send messages the pa, como me dijo pacientes, patients. 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 Ah, okay. Mm, pretty interesting. There you go. Thank you, Maria Elena. Nice, nice. You're welcome. Okay, Ceci. Um, ahorita que estaba diciendo pacientes, teacher. Pacientes y paciencia casi suenan igual, vea. Ajá, patient, pace, patience. Pacientes. Mm -hmm. Y patient, paciencia. Exactly. <laughs> I know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, in my work, 
Uh -huh. I, I have to attend the client mm -hmm. and I have to attend the telephone uh -huh. and I have to assist my boss in some, some things. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you, Ceci. Thank mm. you. Okay. Good. How people love Guadalupe. Uh, no, 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 you, Guadalupe. The other Guadalupe. Ruth Guadalupe. <laughs> yes, man. I saw one person kissing her, and she was like, huh, acting indifferent. Uh, I'm watching you, man. I'm watching you. Okay. <laughs> good, good. Let me see. Any other person that provides an example, please? Uh, let's see. Jocelyn, can you provide one example to me for, for using this structure? Okay. Um, I have to complete for our report. Ah, okay. Good. Thank you. Let me see somebody else. Um, Ivania. Mm, I have to pay. Uh, I have to pay suppliers. Mm, not supplies. Oh, no, supplies. Yes. Yeah, supplies. Suppliers are the people. Supplies, uh -huh. the things. Okay, good. Good. There you go. Okay, because I don't see anybody connected. I don't know who's active and who's not active. Okay, good. Thank you for the ones who already participated. Okay, now we were just discussing the structure from first person and plurals. Now, let's take a look at the examples and the structure from third person singulars. Check this out. It's basically the same structure with the only difference that in here we don't have has to, we have has to. For example, check that out. Mm, let me see. Monica, are you there, Monica? Mm, okay, I guess just not there. Uh, I don't even know what to choose. Let me see. Oscar, are you there, Oscar? To help me out reading that example. Example or leer. Yeah, read the, the first example. Ah, okay. She has to be on time at work. Ah, okay. Thank you, Oscar. So in that I case, what are we showing in this case? We're showing that this person is obligated to be on time in her work. Okay. Aquí básicamente estamos denotando que esta persona está obligada a estar temprano en su trabajo. So in this case, que estamos mostrando acá, estamos mostrando Cierto grado de obligación, right? We're showing obligation. Ah, dice que dice, ella tiene que estar a tiempo en su trabajo. Good. So, let's move on. Take a look at this other example. Mario, help me already. He has to, to wear uniform. Ah, okay, good. In some places, in some jobs, people are obligated to wear uniforms, right? En algunos trabajos, pues las personas sí están, digamos, obligadas a usar cierto tipo de uniforme. Okay, so in that case, that's part of obligation, right? Part of the rules of the company, in other words. Good. This is the way, so we got it here. Uh, okay, we got another one in here. 
Another example. Um, Carla, help me out reading. Jose has to send the documents. Ah, okay, very good. Jose has to save, okay, the documents. There you go. So in that case, what are we showing in that case with this person? Obligations, right? That's what we're showing. And somehow obligations. Good. So this is the way, okay, on how we show obligations, okay, from a different person. When we talk about another person's obligations. Good. For example, listen. In your house. Podrían mencionarme un miembro de su familia que, y, y una obligación que esa persona esté, por así decirlo, valga la redundancia, obligado a hacer o que tenga que hacer. Uh -huh. Think about it. Piensen en un ejemplo. Cuando lo tengan, pueden escribirlo. Cuando lo tengan, enciendan su micrófono y me lo leen. Me lo dicen. And I'm going to be here waiting for you guys. Remember, just turn on the microphone when you finish. My daughter has to put away her clothes. My daughter has to put has to has to put clothes. Has to put away her clothes. Ah, has to put away her clothes. Okay, good. Thank you, Ruth. Somebody else? Somebody I... else? Okay, Maria. Okay. Uh, my sister has to go to a school. Okay, good. Good. That's an obligation. There you go. No obligation ir a estudiar. Exactly, exactly. Good. Good example, actually. Somebody else? Uh, my husband has to pay the rent. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's a really good example, Guadalupe. Thank you. <laughs> My husband has to pay the rent. Okay. Or you might say, My husband has to buy the milk for the baby if you have a baby. <laughs> that, that was good. Good. Somebody else? Okay, Jose. My my daughter how to do homework. Has to do homework, right? Okay. Good, good. Thank you, mister. My daughter has to do homework. Nice. Um my husband has to pay the electricity bill. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Jocelyn. Somebody else? Vamos a ver cómo están ahí de tímidos. Vamos a ver quién más me puede participar acá. 
Hmm. Karena. Hi teacher. Are you sick, Carla? Yes. Flu? Yes, teacher. No. Yeah, I mean, I can listen. You're like, <laughs> ah, I feel dying. <laughs> <laughs> sí, teacher, the day, yeah. Really? Yes. But you finish in the school? Sí, today. Hmm. Qué buena despedida, man. <laughs> Así tocó todo el día. Wow. Sorry, Carla. I can't tell. The good thing, the good thing is that you're finishing. I mean, you finish uh today, and uh, what? You go during this month. You go only for administrative things, right? Yes. Until November the 30th. November 30th. Yes. That's good to you, man. That's good to you. You know <laughs> when I'm going to finish? <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> Adivine cuando voy a terminar yo. Cuando? <laughs> December. <laughs> <laughs> 19 de diciembre. <laughs> Qué triste. <laughs> <clears throat> So sad, man. So sad. But anyways. <laughs> I know, man. I know. <laughs> Give me one, one, one obligation that one member of your family has to do. Mm, and my mother has to buy food. Okay, good. <laughs> I told you will say my mother has to cook every every day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, there you go. Thank you, Carla. Thank you. All right. Oscar. Could you give me one example, Oscar? Claro, ahorita, teacher. Uh, my wife has to say my son to the school every morning. Ah, okay. There you go. <laughs> nice, uh <-huh>. nice. <laughs> it's, it, 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 and you say like, it's an obligation. Se va a tratar del trabajo, ella tiene la oportunidad. Ah, okay. So that, that's why, that's why. Good, <laughs> good. Exactly. All right. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Uh, okay, let's okay. see somebody else. Ceci, you haven't given me your example, right? Cecilia Garcia Guevara Siris, are you there? Hola. Ah, finally. <laughs> Sabe que estoy poniendo en práctica el truco de Fabricio. Por cierto, no quedó en nuestro grupo, ¿ve? Nah, lastimosamente no quedó en este grupo. Ah, bueno. Mm. ¿Qué truco usted, por cierto? Ya me dejo con la curiosidad. <risa> el de control A, cuando me falla el audio. <risa> no sé por qué. Ah, control A era. <risa> sí. Uh -huh. <risa> con razón yo le daba control H. Yo, esta cosa no funciona. Ah, sí. oh, bueno. <risa> ok, <risa> well, thank you to remind me. Ok. And the example is about me. Mm -hmm. I have to pay the house every month. Good. It's now, ah, so sad. Now, for example, your, do you have brothers? Yes, two brothers. Tell me one obligation of one of them. Ay, es que yo creo que no tienen ninguna obligación, entonces por eso lo hice así. Really? No, no es cierto. Um, they don't clean their room, they don't do the dishes, they don't do any cleaning, they don't do any homework. Eso es muy bien. 
Okay. ¿Se le fue el audio otra vez o, o what? Sí, sí. Okay, I guess she's having problems with the internet or something like that. Hola. I am, and now you're there. <laughs> no. Sí, me escucho. ¿Hasta dónde me escucho? De hecho, no la escuché después. <risa> El ejemplo. Eh, my brother. Uh -huh. Has to pay the bills of water and electricity. Ah, ok. Ok. Good. Uh -huh. Good. Yes. There you go. Mario, you gave me your example. My daughter uh, has to take out the trash. Ah, okay, good, good. Nice, nice. So I can say my wife has to take a shower every day, except on weekends, she says. You see, that's an obligation, right? Cool, there you go. So everybody, uh, I'm pretty sure that everybody understand how to show obligation using a third person form, right? Good. Now we were discussing about positive statements using first person and plurals. We were discussing positive statements using third person singular. Now let's take a look at the way how to create negative statements. And what does it says about negative statements? Check this out. Monica, are you there, Monica? Me pareció verla por ahí, Monica. Yes, teacher. Mm. Read the definition, please. Ahorita. We use don't have to, doesn't have to, to show lack of obligation in activities. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. It says, listen, we use don't have to or doesn't have to, okay, to show lack of obligation in activities. ¿A qué nos referimos con esto? Que acá cuando ya usamos el don't have to o doesn't have to, aquí ya no estamos mostrando obligación, okay, sino más bien una opción, okay. Y aquí ya estamos careciendo de obligación. How come? Take a look at these examples. Jose, help me reading the first one, please. Hi, teacher. Huh? Hi. Ah, okay, Marielena, let's go. Okay, examples. I don't have to eat three times a day. Ah, okay, good. What are we showing in that case? Listen, that you are not obligated to eat exactly three times a day, right? Aquí, pues, básicamente ya estamos hablando de algo que no es obligatorio hacer. Good. So, literal, podemos decir acá que es I mean, no tengo que comer tres veces al día, right? I don't have to eat three times a day. So in this case, it's optional, right? Y aquí pues ya estamos hablando de algo opcional. Okay, remember, something optional. Next, Jocelyn. Okay, you don't have to buy new clothes. Clothes, okay. Clothes. Good. You don't have to buy new clothes, right? I mean, come on, no tienes que comprar ropa nueva. Good, that's something optional, right? Next, Jocelyn. 
Next one, uh, let's see, Ivania. We don't have to speak Chinese. Ah, okay, cool. We don't have to speak Chinese, right? Actually, we cannot speak Chinese. <laughs> okay, so in that case, that's a lack of obligation. Remember that, okay? Lack of obligation. Good. Ahora bien, ¿cuáles son esas actividades que ustedes tienen como una opción el hacer? ¿Mm? For example, you can say, I mean, I don't have to take a shower every day. Mm, what else? I don't have to. I don't. I I don't have to watch uh, TV every day. Ah, okay, good. Thank you, Jose. Good example. Muy bien, buen ejemplo. Good. What about you people? Podrían dar, darme un ejemplo de algo que no es obligatorio para ustedes o no es una obligación hacer. No hay solo un ejemplo, people. No todos a la vez. <laughs> I don't have to wear a uniform on Fridays. On Fridays, okay, good. Thank you, Guadalupe, good example. Somebody else? I don't have to wear a Saturday. Okay, very nice, very nice. Any other example? I don't have to drive every day. Okay, good. I don't have to drive any every day. Thank you, Jorge. Somebody else? I don't have to go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. That's another one that is optional, right? Excellent. Somebody else? I don't have to work. Okay. Okay, you don't have to work on weekends. Good. You may say, I don't have to work tomorrow, right? That's another one. Good. That's optional. Thank you, Mr. Uh Ivania. Give me your example, Ivania. Mm, I don't have to stay after my a working hours. Okay, good. Good, thank you. Uh, let me see, Monica. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Give me one example, please. Uh, I don't have to walk, go to the work. I don't have to go to work. Uh -huh. Okay, good. That's something optional. Thank you. Thank you. Maria Elena. I don't have to eat every day. <laughs> <laughs> the your example, Maria Elena? I don't have to eat every day. <laughs> no, no, espérame. Eat no es este. Cook. Perdón. Ah, es que ya decía yo. Es, ¿Cómo que no tiene que comer todos los días? O sea. No, I don't cook every day. Ok, I don't have to cook every day. All right. Ah, man. Y ahora sí es diferente. Man. No es lo mismo decir, ah, no tengo que comer todos los días. Right. No es, ah, decir, ah, man, no tengo que cocinar, güey. Right. Good, good. There you go. Good. Okay, good. So let's continue, people. Check this out. 
they don't have to write emails. So in that case, we are talking about something that is not really necessary. Remember, okay? Good. Eso era en primera persona y pues básicamente plurales. Ahora bien, vamos a ver las terceras personas, el uso de la tercera persona. Good. Take a look at the structure and third person. So we got subject plus doesn't have to plus the main verb plus complement. So we got a series of examples over here. Check this out. Says so he read the example. Okay, give me a moment. Ay, no sé, se me hizo pequeña la pantalla, teacher, no lo puse. ¿Ah? No puedo. Es que, ay, no sé qué hice, pero. <ríe> no encuentro. Sí, controlar. Ah, no, ese es para el audio. No encuentro dónde está la pantalla que está compartiendo. No la encuentro. But, ah, uh, really? Espérame, okay, okay. teacher. Ah, ya está. <laughs> Perdón. Um, she doesn't have to wear skirts. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you. She doesn't have to wear skirts. Okay. Good. Good. Thank you, Ceci. So in that case, what are we talking about? Ah, mean, ella no tiene que usar. What is a skirt? Falda. Falda. All right. Good. Good. Falda. That's what it is. Okay. Very good. Next example, uh, algún voluntario, any volunteer? Yo teacher. Yo teacher. Ay, me salieron dos a mí. Ay, creo que. Let me see. Mónica and then Oscar. You're going to read the next one, Oscar. Mónica, read this one. He doesn't have to play basketball. Okay, thank you. Very good. Oscar. Okay, teacher. Helen doesn't have to wash the car. Ah, okay. Helen doesn't have to wash the car. There you go. Cool. Algo que quiero que noten es que el have to en forma base está. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos usando un auxiliar adicional, que en este caso es el does, que está haciendo la función de la tercera persona. Por lo tanto, lo único que se modifica, recuerde, es el auxiliar, ¿ok? El has to siempre va a ir en forma base a pesar de que estemos hablando de una tercera persona o de algo singular, ¿ok? Good. José. He doesn't have to buy Black Friday. In the Black Friday. In the Black Friday. Good. Do you do you guys talking about that? Thank you, Jose. Do you do you really think it, it, it is it is applied the Black Black Friday prices here in El Salvador, people? Ustedes no. creen que realmente los precios acá, o sea, los ponen los ponen que que de verdad son son buenos? No, nah, not, not that much, right? Yes. En ciertas tiendas, hace como dos meses vi los precios de algo por ahí, de algún producto como en 40 dólares. El mes pasado los tenían a 55 y ahora precio de Black Friday, 40 dólares. 10 dólares de descuento. Dice. No, man, that was a good strategy. Pero bueno, that's, that's part of, you know, like, tradition, right? It's part of the tradition. Anyways. Good. Ya saben lo que les voy a pedir, ¿verdad? Good. Could you guys give me one example about something else or someone else? ¿Podrían darme un ejemplo de alguien, de algún miembro de familia o un coworker que tiene que, que no tiene que hacer un coworker? For example. Um. Y 
he doesn't he doesn't have to be como era estar a tiempo teacher to be on time and to be on time mm, okay good he doesn't have to be on time no tiene que estar a tiempo mm, okay good thank you Ceci thank you somebody else alguien más En lo que piensan en un ejemplo, I'm going to stop sharing this. Voy a dejar de compartir y voy a pasar la segunda asistencia, ¿ok? Let me see. Gabriel Esaú. No here. Ok. Guadalupe Noemi. Present. Excellent. Eres Cecilia. Present. All right. Jorge Ismael. Present. Okay, good. Jose Moises. Present. Okay, good. Judith Maribel. Oh, Judith is not here yet. Carla Ivania. Present teacher. Okay, good. Carla Lorena. Present. Okay, excellent. Catherine Guadalupe. Me parece. Ah, yeah, man. She's oyente right now. Kevin Ramiro. Okay, this is the uh, Maria Elena. Present teacher. Okay, good. Marilyn Alejandra. Uh, she got disconnected. Mario Ernesto. Present. Okay, Monica Maricela. Present. Okay, Oscar Armando. Present teacher. Okay, good. Patricia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Good. Uh, Roberto Emilio is working. Ruth Guadalupe. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Nice. Santos Cristina. Present teacher. All right. Nice. And the last one, Jocelyn Stephanie. Present teacher. Okay. Good. Good. Who wants to be a volunteer to read an example? ¿Quién quiere ser el primer voluntario que me lea el ejemplo? My daughter doesn't have uh -huh. to take a, a bite early on vacation. Ah, okay. Very good. Very good. Somebody else? Alguien más? Podría repetírmelo otra vez, Jorge, es que casi no se le escucha. Sí, dos no, always had to smile. Ah, ok, good. Ah, ok. Always have to smile. Good, good, good. Let me see. Who else? Thank you, Jorge. Ivania. She doesn't to have a sleep, sleep in the work. <laughs> she doesn't have to sleep in the work. Okay, good. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Somebody else? 
Bueno, como no me quieren participar a las buenas, lo vamos a ver a leer. Ah, ok, good, good. Yo hice. Oscar, en Den, María Elena. Chévere. Yo hice una relación de... If she doesn't have to wash the car. She doesn't have to wash the car. Ok. Uh -huh. Good, good. Example. All right. Thank you, Oscar. Ok. María Elena. Carmen doesn't have to work every day. Ah, ok, very good. Nice, thank you. Somebody else, alguien más? Yo, teacher. Nice, uh, Carla. My brother doesn't have to party at night. <laughs> ok, good. Good, good, good. Okay, good. So the rest, I think they're kind of busy or they just don't want to participate. But anyways, good. Let's try to move on with this. Give me one second. Give me one second. I just want to. Take out something from here. Mm, okay. Okay, cool. Ya estuvimos viendo oraciones positivas, negativas. Ahora vamos a ver cómo crear preguntas. And this is the structure. Take a look at the structure over there. Jocelyn, help me reading the, the structure, please. Okay, teacher. Um, WH work Aha, WH work Perdón, teacher, estaba hablando con el micrófono apagado <laughs> WH work plus do plus subject plus have to, plus member, plus complement, plus... Question, Question, Question mark. Question mark. Okay, thank you. Good. Entonces, esa es la estructura para crear preguntas informativas. Les doy preguntas informativas usando un término de obligación. Okay. Good. Let's take a look at some examples over here. All right, let's see. Guadalupe, help me read this example. Where do you have to use your phone? Ah, okay, good. Jose, give it the answer. You there, Jose? Okay, I guess he's not there. Monica, let me reading. I have to use my phone in my house. Ah, okay, very good. It says, I have to use my phone in my house. What are we showing in that case? Remember, we are showing obligation. Mario. Uh, what time do you have to be at work? Okay, thank you. What time do you have to be at work? ¿A qué horas tienes que estar en tu trabajo? Ruth. 
I have to be at work uh, at 8 a.m. Ah, okay, there you go. I have to be at work at 8 a.m. Very good. So this is the way how we can create this type of structures, okay? No sé si están tomando notas. All right, me avisan por favor para poder avanzar. Okay, cool. I guess you have already finished before. So I'm gonna start sharing this thing. And I want you to go right straight to the manual. Ahora sí. Dicho esto, vamos a pasar directamente ahora al manual. Okay. And what can you find in the manual? Let's go specifically to page 11. Okay. Vamos a la página 11 en el manual. This one page over here. It says, work with a partner to read the conversation. It says, then switch roles and read it again. All right. So we had a short conversation over here. Let me see if we got some questions in here. Yes. As always, people, we're going to go and we're going to try to practice this short conversation. And listen, no más terminen de la práctica de la conversación. Me gustaría que complementen estas cuatro oraciones. Si ven acá, tenemos con have to o has to. Tienen que básicamente leer la conversación y poner o circular la frase correcta para completar mejor la oración. Ok, good. Eso lo van a hacer con su compañero de trabajo cuando ya estén después de la práctica. Les voy a dar una cantidad de minutos, cinco minutos les voy a dar. Exactamente para que podamos practicar esta conversación. Y luego vamos a volver a la sala principal, ¿ok? Good. Uh, you don't have the money, Jose. Uh, Jose, ¿ya está en el grupo de, de WhatsApp? Cool. All right, Jose. Ahorita mismo voy a reenviar el, el, el manual. Ok. So, de esa manera lo pueda descargar, ¿ok? Give me one second, ¿ok? All right, mister. Ahí lo tiene. ¿Ok? All right, mister. Good. So, what are we going to do with this short conversation? Vamos a hacer como siempre lo hemos hecho. I'm going to read the conversation two times, twice. Okay, and you follow me up. You can follow me up with the microphone off. And then if you have any question with the vocabulary, after the practice, you can ask. So, this is a conversation between Aaron and Zam. And it says, Aaron, listen, the new material just arrived the new material just arrived in the morning in the morning tell max that he has to store everything tell max that he has to store everything and it's a sum. Where does he have 
to store the boxes? Where does he have to store the boxes? Okay. It says that on. He and Ivan, listen, he and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Once again, he and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Sam says, okay, but there are many boxes. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? Can they use the lift? Adam says, they have to use the lift. They have to use the lift. But ask and tell the secretary first. But ask and tell the secretary first. And it says, Sam, she is going to say they can use it. She is going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max. Then I am I'm going to tell Max and Ivan and Ivan what they have to do. What they have to do. Good people. So in that case, this is like the pronunciation from every word in this conversation. Now, do you have any question with the vocabulary? Tenemos alguna palabra desconocida que no sepamos acá? Warehouse. Warehouse. Warehouse in this case is bodega. That's bodega o almacén donde guardan cosas, okay? Good. Something else? Yeah. Ascensor. Lift es ascensor, correcto. Something else? Algo más con lo que tengamos algún inconveniente, alguna duda? Alguna pronunciación? She teacher, la palabra uh, arrive. Arrive. Ok, arrive, en este caso, así como está ahí, está en pasado, pero arrive sin la D significa llegar. Ok, arrive. Yes. Ok, gracias. Ok, good. Them. Uh, I'm sorry, Jose. What do you say? Ah, then. Then significa luego. Significa luego. All right. Good. So I guess uh, nobody is going to ask more questions about that vocabulary. Good. So what I'm going to do, I am going to just make the groups just to go to work and practice in the breakout rooms. Let me see. Uh, all right, Monica, no problem. Good. How are people? Podrían por lo menos con una manita en la cámara, si no la quieren encender, mencionarme quiénes son los que podemos participar ahorita en la, en la conversación, please. Please, please, please. Ah, ok. Good, good. Perfect. Los demás debo suponer que no. Ok. Okay, cool.
Nice people, give me one second. I'm just gonna create the groups then. And I'm gonna sign them manually. Oh my god. Okay, give me one second. I'm just creating these things. Oh my God. Okay, could you please open up the breakout rooms and let's go to work? Y ya me regresó. Hola. Le di unir y me regresó de nuevo a la sala. A ver, permítanme. Bueno, enviando nuevamente la invitación. Ok, por... permítame. Número 6. Dele ahora. Okay, I'm just going to make some modifications. Number three. Then in the water house. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use it today? Uh, they have to use the life, but as and then the secretary fears. She is going to stay. She is going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay. Saber cuánto tiempo nos va a dar el teacher, va. Quizás Five minutes. cinco minutos. Five minutes. Ah, cinco minutos. Ah, chivísimo. Ah, pues podemos seguir de nuevo. Ok. Eh, eh, si gustan, practiquen ustedes dos. Eh, 
No, más hace rato. No sé. Uh -huh. Ajá. Hoy eh, que hace un niño iris. Vale. Si quiere empiece usted ahora y sigo yo en la próxima. Eh, ¿Cómo dice, perdón? Si gusta, empiece usted y, uh -huh. y yo soy Sam. Ah, uh, vale. Uh, the new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. That he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes can they use the leaf? They have to use the leaf, but as until the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Matt and Ivan where. Well, digitalmente. Si lo tengo. Ajá, si lo puede contestar digitalmente usted. No, no. No, ¿verdad? Es de ah, imprimirlo. Es muy bueno. Eh, no están desde la computadora ustedes. Eh, yo tengo nada más en la computadora, pero estoy del teléfono conectada. Ah, sí, desde el teléfono sí se le hace un poquito más complicado, porque en la computadora sí se puede hacer. ¿Y en qué parte, teacher? Porque no. Vaya, no hay... le voy a... Vaya, mire, por ejemplo, supongamos que tengo el manual acá. Vaya, mire, le estoy proyectando el manual. Ajá. Este es el, este es igual con el, con el lector de PDF, ¿ok? Mm, si, se va todo... acá, si se va acá en estas opciones, acá, usted aquí puede, puede, pero si lo quiere hacer de la manera más sencilla, más, más sencilla, permítame. Puede es que sí. ponerle un comentario acá. O something. Over here. Fíjense que a mí no me salen todas esas herramientas. Ah, ¿qué es lo único que le sale a usted? Solo me sale el número de página, el porcentaje de, de Zoom uh -huh. y mover el documento de izquierda a derecha, girarlo. No me sale todo lo demás. Pero verdad que ha de ser porque no tengo instalado PDF. Oh, es que el programa se llama... Adobe Acrobat, así mire, así como ah, está yeah. acá. Ese es el programa que se debe, se debe ah, pues, descargar en la computadora. Ah, pues lo voy a descargar para poderlo usar, porque ah. si no me sale lectura del documento. Ah, vaya, vaya. Good. Ajá, lo que pueden estar haciendo con relación a, la, a las, a los, va por ejemplo, esta va a ser otra actividad que me van a hacer en, en un rato más, mire. Esas que están proyectadas ahorita. Lo que puede hacer es nada más eh, escribir esta parte y acá complementarla con lo que falta acá en su cuaderno. Uh -huh. Vaya. En su cuaderno. Ajá. No sé si han practicado la conversación. Sí, ya la practicamos. <risas> ah, vaya, perfecto. Muy bien, porque si ya la practicaron, sí, entonces vámonos a la sala principal. Entonces, porque quiero escucharlos, ¿ok? Ok. Perfecto. See you there. Okay, cool. I guess you participated, guys, in the in the conversation thing. Okay, you you were practicing that one, and I took you into here because I do really want to listen to you guys. Luego vamos a volver, pero para terminar los últimos ejercicios que nos faltan, porque uh, debo suponer que se quedaron algunos en la conversación, otros en la, en la zona de las oraciones, pero luego después de las oraciones nos falta un ejercicio adicional, ¿ok? Que luego lo vamos a completar. I'm gonna project this time because I do really need to listen to you guys, ¿ok? Good. 
Ruth, who were you working with? Jose Iris. Cool. Vamos a hacer algo. Jose and Iris. We're going to do something. Listen. Para poderlo practicar de mejor manera, Ruth. Quiero escucharla practicar con José, luego José con Iris y luego Iris va a terminar el, el, el circle with you, ¿ok? Nice, let's go. Ok. The new materials used arrive in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Yes. Uh, he have to store the box. He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use it? Leaf. They have to use the leaf, but ask ask and tell the secretary spirit. She's going to say they can use it. Then I am going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to you to do. Ah, okay, to do. Okay, good. Now, Jose, I want to listen to you participating with Ceci. Okay. Yes, you're going to be the first Maybe. one, Jose. Okay. 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 Uh, the new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max um, that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use it, use the lift, but us and tell the secretary first. She's going to say, they can use them. I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay, good. Finish up with uh, Ruth, Ceci. Okay. Now the comienzo. Yeah. Um, the new materials use arrive in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift. But as and tell the secretary first. He is going to say they can use it. They I am going to tell Max and Ivan what what they have to do. All right, there you go. Thank you to you three guys. Mm -hmm. You did it excellent. Now Guadalupe. All right, let's participate with uh, your classmate, the one you were practicing this thing. Yo empezaría, teacher. Okay, yeah, let's start. You and Jorge, right? Sí. Okay, let's go. Pero como lo practicamos con él, él empezó primero. Ok, entonces así comiencen, no problem. Ok. Eh, the new material just arrived in the morning. So, 
very much that the has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He has even had to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lid? They have to use the leaf, but as and tell the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it. Then him going to tell Max and Avan what they have to do. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Jorge Guadalupe. You did it excellent. Nice. Now let's move on. Maria Elena, who are you working with? Eh, ay, espéreme, que, es que no me acuerdo el nombre de mi <laughs> Isn't it Jocelyn? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah, pues ella. Let's go. Okay. Uh, the new material just arrived in, in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and he and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the leaf? They have to use the leaf, but as and tell the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Matt and Ivan what they have to do. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you to you both girls. You did it excellent. Now, next one, Ivania, who are you working with? Mm, eh, Carly y Kevin, creo. Sí, Kevin. Cool. Practiquen de la manera que estaban practicando entonces. Ok, Carly y Kevin. <ríe> y de ahí practicaba yo con ellos. Ok, Kevin. Así. All right. Vaya, hagamos algo. Kevin, sí. let's practice with Carla. Then Carla with Ivania. And then Ivania finishes with Kevin, ok? Ok. Good. Let's go. Ok. Yeah, okay, empiezo, okay. empiezo yo. Uh -huh. Ten, ten, uh, uh, in, uh, leave it in the morning to max uh, and I have it has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? Hey, hey, um, I, Ivan, uh, how to, to story. Then is where, 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 house. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the list? list? Hey, how, how, how to use uh, the list do has to found those are security free. She's going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay. Okay, perfect. Carla with Ivania. Okay. Uh, the new material uh, just Give me one second. Carla, you 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 read about Sam, right? Last last time. Yes. Cool. Now be around now, and uh, Ivania is gonna read about Sam. Okay. To read it differently. Okay. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where that? He have to store the boxers. He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there 
are my boxes? Are many boxes? Uh, can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but has and tell the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it. Then I am going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you. And now, uh, Ivania, now is the last time to, for you to, to practice with Kevin. And now, can you start? Okay, al revés. Okay, este, sería Aaron Ivania. Yes. Okay. okay. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. What did you say in a way how to store it upset? Um, Ivan, how to store them in the warehouse? Okay, do hurry, hurry my box set I they use in the leaf. They have to use the leaf, but as I'm tell the secretary yes. she didn't go to sign I use it they it going to tell Tom Max and Ivan why they have to do Okay, good. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Ivanian. Thank you, Kevin. You did it excellent. All right. Now let's move out. Uh, let me see. There is one group that is missing, I guess. Mario. You and uh, yes. Who were you participating with? Oscar. Okay, cool. Let's go. Are you ready, Oscar? Sí, aquí estoy. Démosle con todo. Empieza usted si gusta. Yes. The new Chivo. materials the new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Uh, where does he have to store the box? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay. But at they are money box. Can they use the life? They have to use the light, but ask and tell the secretary first. She's yes. going to say they can use it. Then I am going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay, very good. There you go. Thank you to okay. you both people. Uh, good. Uh, all of you were the participations, right? Uh, creo que ya nadie me faltó con las participaciones. Let me see. No, everybody has already participated. Good people. Vomiting. After reading this, this, this short conversation and practicing, nos vamos a, a ir, bueno, recuerden, tienen esta pendiente nada más de poner el símbolo. No sé si la hicieron. Did you do it already? ¿Lo hicieron? No. no, ok, cool. Recuerden, solo poner un círculo en la frase correcta para completar la oración. Me van a hacer esta parte y me van a completar esta otra. Acá, dice, complete the following sentences using the correct form of have to and the words provided. Un ejemplo, dice, the company... Y luego dice, buy new material. ¿Cómo sería la oración entonces? The company has to buy the new material. Has to buy the, let's put, new material. Good. Sería de este modo. ¿Por qué has to? Porque acá estamos representando un singular. ¿Qué singular? Ah, la compañía, right? Aquí estamos hablando de algo singular. Good. Ya les proveí una. Entonces nos vamos a ir a trabajar con los mismos del breakout room y los vamos a completar esas cuatro más que faltan, ¿ok? 
Good, that's what we are going to do. I'm gonna stop sharing this thing. And let's go to practice, okay? Give me one second. Okay, open up the breakout rooms and let's go to practice with your classmates. Christy, are you there, Christina? Hello, teacher. Ah. Teacher. Ajá. Y al final llegó a casa, Cristina. Hello, teacher. No me puedo ahorita. Ahorita hablo de oyente, teacher. Ah, ah, okay, okay. That's okay, Cristina, no problem. Maria Elena, are you there, Maria Elena? Okay, good. La segunda sería your partner, partner have to. Container, va, quiero ver. Al, uh, up. Uh. Ajá, uh -huh, ah, uh, sí. Porque, porque, porque el auxiliar es el que absorbe el, 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 el ¿cómo se llama? Es el que cambia cuando es tercera persona. Cuando es negativo, el auxiliar es el que cambia. Entonces es, I don't, doesn't have to. Ajá. Don't, don't have to sing, sing, sing the letter. The letter. By Mr. Mr. Bonilla has, has, has to, to dice new model. models. In the group, don't. But it's the. Bueno, el teacher, teacher nos ayuda aquí. Bueno, yo tengo una duda. Ajá. Esto cuando se refiere al grupo, uh -huh. ¿es como un grupo o el grupo de varias personas? El grupo consta de varias personas, pero si dice la palabra grupo, es singular. Pro ah, ok. Entonces, the group doesn't have up to, uh -huh. up to work until late. Ahí estamos. Okay. You finish? Yes. Perfect, yes, perfect. Nada más voy a revisar los otros como van, ¿ok? Bye. Stay. Nice, nice. La cuatro. No es activo. Mister Bonilla. No es no es a cinco negativo. La cinco, ¿cuál dijo? La cinco es negativo. La cuatro es afirmativa. Porque dice que Mr. Bonilla es, el, es, es como sería Mr. Bonilla. No es, es, entonces este no es correcto. 
este, porque estamos, eh, si sí, el ha no es para tercera persona. No, lo que pasa es que dijo él que cuando estamos ocupando el, el dasen, que es el, como el auxiliar, o sea, el verbo queda normal, vea. O sea, had, o sea ya sea para primera o, o tercera persona. Porque estamos negando algo y se está ocupando el auxiliar eh, do o dasen. Entonces ahí se está separando do para primera persona y dasen para tercera persona. Entonces el hub to quedan igual. Igual es. Okay. Ajá. Por eso es que aquí, o sea, los dos están en negativo. La única diferencia es que uno dice hub y el otro dice has to. Uh -huh. Es así, ¿verdad, teacher? Teacher, así es. A ver. No nos haga dudar, por favor. Aaron doesn't have to help the store, the boxes. La, la duda es, teacher, que si ahí es have, I have es correcto, aunque sea tercera persona. Porque está en negativo, dice. Eh. Yes, porque el auxiliar está en tercera persona. Ok, sí, eso me explicaba Iván. Entonces, así es. Uh -huh. What about the other ones? Ok. Eh, the secretary had to say that they, that they can use the lift. Quiero ver la secretaria. Tiene que... Sí. Eh. Has to. Okay. La primera sería has to new material, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ah, dele la otra. Sí. Este, este, design. Ah, este ponía design. 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 Mm. So, New models. Has to not. Not Gorba. Oh. Mm. Oh. On team lies. No trabajan hasta tarde, eh, teacher. Hola. Así El grupo es. no trabaja hasta tarde. No tiene que trabajar hasta tarde. O mientras The es tarde. Has... ¿Estás seguro que así está bien? Has... Vaya, mire. Quiero que vaya a esta zona y revise. A dónde? Este, acá, mire. Y mire cómo están los negativos. Ah, ya sé. Not work. Ah, negativa esa. La tercera y la de última. He doesn't... Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ok. No, okay. ya he visto. Este. Sí. Not court. <risa> <Bueno. risa> Negativa, sí, cierto. La combinación ahí va. Mm -hmm. He doesn't... Not... Entonces, este es... Dasen, no, no. Uh -huh. Puedo ponerlo así. 
das señor uh -huh. Pues además de tener que ir contactada. no ¿Contractada? no 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 necesariamente Sí, eso. sí sí Es que hace hacer es aceptable sí ah cuesta hacer sí contraer la entrada pero le falta plata. pero ahí le falta porque me tiene the group does not to work y el have the group the group doesn't have to or the group does not have to recuerde have is missing Aquí le falta el pasto, ¿verdad? has to Sí, yes. no 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 después del not Does it not has? así como está acá miren 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 esta 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 acá Sí, es que, es que esta cosa se mueve. Sería Does así. it not ah, has to? Ah, ok. No, en ese caso does not. No, en vez de have, No, no. en, en vez de has, ponga have. Have, have, have. To have. Have. Exactly. Does Exactly. not have to work. Uh, <laughs> until late. Exactly. Good. Va, perfecto. Bueno, vamos a volver al, 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 a la sala principal porque hay algunos me están reclamando. <ríe> Chévere, gracias, teacher. Y ya son las 10, mi... <ríe> ok. Let's go on. Ok, cool. So, most of you are back in here. Okay, let's let's have a brief check about what you have, people, before we go, okay? Vamos a ver qué tenemos antes de irnos acá en esta parte. Pair word, it says, read the conversation again and seek the correct answers. Mario, read number one, please. Léame la número uno ya con la respuesta incluida, la que usted escogió, okay, de las dos opciones. Number one, Max and uh, Max and Ivan has two story boxes. Has. In this case, in this case, Mario, tiene que ser have to, porque Ah, estamos uh, hablando de un plural, dos personas, uh, uh, ¿ok? sí, 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 Exactly, sí, sí, exactly, have to. Yes. Nice, nice. Ruth, read number two. Uh, número two is mm, doesn't. Aaron doesn't have to has store the boxes. Vamos a poner esta, esto acá porque esto no va. Tiene unos pequeños mistakes el, el libro ahí, ¿ok? Esta es una oración, una pregunta. Good. Aaron doesn't have to, to help store the boxes. Like that? Okay. Nice, nice. Next, uh, number three. Let me see who can help me out doing this one. Maria Elena, read number three. Yes. Sam doesn't have to has, perdón, <laughs> quiero ver, Sam doesn't have to help. Ah, okay, good. This one, right? Very good. Those ones are the ones that you got. Thank you, thank you. And uh, Oscar, read number four. Okay, teacher. The secretary has to say that they Uh -huh. has to say that they can use life. Lift. The Left. pronunciation Oh, of this oh. one is lift. Okay. Left. Are your life <laughs> no, incorrect? life. Exactly. <laughs> Lift sí, eso. is the elevator. Okay. Exacto, sí. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you, teacher. Okay, good. Now, let's go down. Okay, very good. Thank you to you guys.
Now, vamos a revisar la última antes de irnos. Good. I said the last one. Uh, I, I, I gave the last one actually to you guys. I mean, the first one. The first one I gave you it was like the company has to buy new material, right? Good. Carla, can you please read number two? Carla Mendoza, are you there? Ahorita, teacher, es que me guía no podía devolver la pantalla. Ok, permítame, teacher, porque no puedo leer dónde trabajamos. Ahorita, teacher, no, no encuentro dónde trabajamos, teacher, pero eso lo voy a hacer. Eh, your partner, how to, how to buy, buy up the content next. Creo que así lo hicimos. Ajá. The, pa the partner have to buy, buy up the content. Ah, okay. Very good. Yeah, I mean, this is the way. Okay. Nice, nice. Very good. Ceci, read number three. Um. The actions have to design, or don't have to sign the letter. Sign the letter. Like this? I see. Sí. Da. Acá en doesn't le vamos a poner nada más. Don't. Don't. Porque estamos hablando de agents. Algo plural, ¿ok? Los agentes. Es plural. Mm. Ok. Good. Thank you, thank you. Ivania, three number four. Ok. Mr. Bonilla has to... Design new models. Like this? I see, Mero. Okay, very good. So we got it. So you got it correctly. Good. And now let's read the last one. Okay, let's, let's take a look at the last one. Ruth, read the last one. Perdón, dice que ahorita tengo un accidente con la que. Ok. Uh, uh, eh, sería de club. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, don't have to work until late. Like this, así. Yes. ¿Están de acuerdo con Ruth? Sí. Ajá. ¿Alguien más que esté de acuerdo con Ruth? Que levante un pulgarcito. Ah. ¿You, you agree with Ruth, José? Yes. Ok. Acá... Algunos se equivocan. Listen. La palabra group, a pesar de que abarca muchas personas, la palabra group es una palabra en singular. Por lo group. tanto, por lo tanto, <risa> no, eh, eh, no vamos a colocar don't. Aquí sería. Das. Porque la palabra es singular. Ok. El group. Es como, es como en español, decimos, el grupo es enorme. All right, es. No decimos son. Ah, pero si es plural, los grupos. All right, so in that case es plural. All right, good. Es como la palabra family, familia. A pesar de que abarca muchas personas, es una palabra en singular. Ok. Good people. Well done. 
Bien hecho. Uh, bueno, entonces básicamente recordemos, have to es más que todo usado para denotar obligaciones, siempre y cuando lo usemos en presente, eh, I mean, en oraciones afirmativas. Si hacen oraciones negativas, recuerden, es básicamente para todas aquellas actividades que nosotros tenemos la opción de hacerla o no hacerla, porque no es una obligación en negativo, pero sí en positivo. Ok, so that's the difference between those structures. Good. Now, I'm going to pass the attendance list before we leave people. Let's see. Gabriel Esaú, he didn't show up in class. Guadalupe Noemi. Present. Cool. Guadalupe, you're going to stay with me right after class, okay? Now is your feedback. Uh, Iris Cecilia. Present. Okay. Good. Jorge Ismael. Nice. Jose Moises. Jose, are you Present. there? Ah, okay. Good. Judith Maribel. Okay, she didn't get connected. Uh, Carla Ivania. Present teacher. Nice. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Catherine Guadalupe. I mean, she, she was working. Kevin Ramiro. Present, teacher. Okay, excellent. Maria Elena. All right, she was there, but I guess she, she got disconnected. Marilyn Alejandra. Okay, she got disconnected. Mario Ernesto. Present. Okay, good. Oh, let's see. Monica Maricela. Ah, okay. Good. Oscar Armando. Present teacher. All right. Patricia Guadalupe. Yeah. I am in Patty Go down here. Roberto Emilio. He's busy working. Ruth Guadalupe. Ah, okay, excellent. Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Okay, and the last one, Jocelyn Stephanie. Which I guess she left. All right, people. So it was a pleasure to have you here in the second video conference of this module from the first week. And remember, Tomorrow we don't have classes, okay? Tomorrow is a day off. So, así que nos vemos el jueves, okay? Que tengan okay. un buen día mañana y una buena noche. Bye-bye, people. Good night, bye, teacher. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 All right, I'm gonna make these people. I'm gonna move them into the, let me see, put it in the waiting room. Okay, good, Guadalupe. Ah, básicamente, este, este par de minutos es para aclarar cualquier duda que podamos tener con relación a el tema que se vio ayer y este tema o algo que usted pues eh, no sé, le tenga alguna duda ya sea con respecto a la plataforma o algo adicional so I don't know if you have any question Guadalupe about the topics ah uh, you got the microphone the microphone creo que nada más teacher con respecto al libro y ese Ajá. cómo lo sería usted tengo que enviárselo eh, eh, no, no, el libro se revisa acá mismo a través de las actividades. Vaya, lo que se cuenta acá, el libro es nada más una guía para que usted pueda desarrollar los ejercicios que, que yo voy diciendo acá, ¿verdad? Que vamos desarrollando en clase. Eh, mm. Ese, pues, eh, eh, lo va desarrollando usted y, pues, en algunas situaciones, eh, eh, como los ejemplos de ahora, pues, yo le digo, ah, mire, Guadalupe, ¿qué tiene acá? En respuesta, y usted lee. 
¿ok? Ese es para usted. Lo que se evalúa con relación a, a, a lo de las tareas es en la, las, las tareas en la plataforma. Okay. Ah, okay. Esas son las evaluadas, básicamente. Ajá. No, con, con, con respecto a lo del manual, pues usted lo puede hacer ahí para pues, efectos de eh, ir en sintonía con lo de la clase. Eh, si no puede imprimir, si no puede imprimirlo, eh, lo que puede hacer es descargue el programa que le digo para que lo pueda usar en la computadora y así pues ahí lo puede editar y puede estar ajá, a, sí, ya lo eh, haciéndolo. Ajá. Eso es lo que se puede hacer en ese caso. Y pues duda así, teacher, no. Creo que nada más es de estudiar los conceptos para no confundirse a la hora de... Correcto, correcto, ajá, exacto. Este, con relación a la plataforma, ¿cómo estamos? ¿Ya pudo acceder? Fíjese que aquí estaba, pero... Eh, ya, ya la cerré. Pero ahí donde dice Homework, yo ajá. le doy clic y este... Me sale un video. Ah, de veras. A la par, a la par del video tiene que estar la tarea. A la par. Yes. Vaya, permítame, le voy a enseñar. Sí. Voy a ver si me puede, si puedo compartir Aquí la pantalla. Aquí le doy clic a unidad 1. Ajá, vamos a ver, voy a proyectar la pantalla para que me la pueda, la pueda ver usted también. Sí. Vaya, le doy acá. Vamos a ver. Ok. Vamos a ingresar. Va, estamos en la unidad 1. A ver, here. Vaya. Tarea 1, sí, vaya, le va, a le va a aparecer el video, justamente el video de la clase de ayer. Sí, eso estaba bien. Vaya, perfecto. Entonces, la tarea suya, aquí es el video, acá está, acá la parte, ah, mira, esta, yeah. aquí está es la tarea de ayer, de la clase de ayer. Ok. Ok, good. Para el, el día de mañana, pues ya va a estar acá, en vez de este video de él, va a estar el video de esta clase, e igual. Ah. A la para acá, acá está la tarea, mire, la tarea ah. sobre este tema que se acaba de discutir. Sí. Ajá. Entonces, ahí a la par. Primero el video, después a la par está la tarea. Ah, ok. Sí, okay. Eh, ya entendí. Ah, perfecto, perfecto. Muy bien. Entonces, ahí estamos. No sé si tiene alguna otra eh, pregunta o alguna duda adicional, Guadalupe. No, teacher, solamente eso. Vaya, perfecto. Entonces, si no hay nada más que agregar, pues le deseo una excelente noche y pues un feliz descanso mañana si, si Gracias, ya que no se va a ir a trabajar, ¿ok? Cabal. Ah, vale. All right, perfecto. Entonces, nos vemos el jueves, ¿ok? Nos vemos, teacher, cuídese. Good night, good night. Bye, bye. Sí.